Hello guys, remember me? I'm Orbeta, your Welsh engineer, and welcome back to Kerbal Quest, part 12, Juno Crashes and the Forgotten Paul Kerbals. Yes, we'll get into them. First off, we're going to launch this Juno craft. We've got Johnny007, Matthew Stalls, Aquian, and Tam. I think most of them wanted to go to Juno, uh, except maybe one. I can't remember, but we'll... One of them wanted to do something, and that's what they're going to do. So anyway, let's get this on the way to Dura, and yes, what is in this craft we'll know when we get it to Dura. However, first off, let's go to the Kerbals that are on Dura, um, and let's get to some comments as they're on their way to the Dura Miner. And by the way, it takes quite a long time because the autopilot wasn't working so well, so I decided to do it all manually, and it took quite a while. Anyway, first comment from An Aaron Hendricks. First commenter, I replied with first reply to first commenter. Hey, <laughs> always get those first commenters, don't you? Anyway, from Commander Chachi. You're German? Question mark with a lot of exclamation marks. No, I'm not. I'm Welsh. Hence the Welsh engineer at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> yeah, it can be confusing, but I don't know how. But anyway, here we are at the. Uh, minor, which they found out. The idea behind this, and Andrew is going to be the first one on there, who's going to man, man the minor. <laughs> the idea is these Kerbals are stranded on Duna and they have to get back, or, you know, they have to, first off, they have to get the miner, get some fuel, mine it, and whatnot, and then they'll have to find the launch craft, refuel it, and get back into space. But there's a lot of stuff to do first, like well, mining ore, that's going to take a time itself. In fact, trying to get into the mine is going to take quite a bit of time, as it is, you can see. And watch this flip over now. Come on, do it, do it, do it. No, not that one. Yeah, well, that was awesome. <laughs> Ninja style moves there. Anyway, last chance, use the jetpack. Obviously, it's the Kerbal way. Anyway, now we've got Andrew on there, we can get the other Kerbals on there. Uh, was it Kepler, Coppler, I.O.? <laughs> I can't read it too quickly. But Coppler, Kepler, I.O. And then a Joseph M. Watney. The only problem is we can only get three Kerbals in the miner, so we're going to have two Kerbals on the smaller rover. Addison Unsworth. First off, before you can go ahead and drive the other Kerbal, which do you know that? Does anyone know who the other Kerbal is? Just a quick question as we're attaching it. I'll let you think about that as I read out Johnny 007's. Hi, I was the guy that wanted to be on the Juno space station. Keep making awesome stuff and stay cool. P.S. My craft is now on Kerbal X. It is a sub-assembly. Yes, I did see her actually and I think I'm following you now on Kerbal X. I've joined Kerbal X. Yes, I've joined the dark side. <laughs> Well, not really. I think it's the Kerbal side, isn't it? I don't know. Do Kerbals have a dark side? If they do, I suppose it would be Jebediah, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, now that we've sorted those Kerbals out, we've got the miner. They're going to be uh, mining ore. We have to launch some things off to Paul. And after a very quick uh, cat, jump cut, we're at Paul. Well, we're at Duo Jewel. And the best way to get into orbit around Jewel is to get really close, like this. Reduce your orbit so you get into a circular orbit, well not circular, uh, into a high elliptical orbit, like this. And then it sa that saves a lot of fuel. And yes, we've got Susan Dixon. Don't worry, I did not forget about you. You are going to pull and you will be mining that door, and you will be doing a science trip to find out that the Kraken on Paul. But not in this episode. Anyway, let's get to another comment from Tardigrade Gaming. And I think you may have noticed that one of your craft is actually gone straight to Paul as well. But before we get to that, we have our mission to Duna has arrived. And, well, there's three missions in one here, right here. And my screen just cut out great. Anyway, as I was saying, as I had to reboot my PC and whatnot, we've got three missions here. There's a space station, there's a drop pod. Someone someone wanted a Warhammer drop pod style landing or something. 
and we also have a surprise in the cargo hold there. Someone on this mission wanted to do something, I think, anyway, that's where I guessed. Anyway, let's, after getting this into orbit, let's get Aquian. Yes, you know who you want. You, you know who you are and you know what you want. I think it was Duna you wanted to get to. Right, I thought about it, Juno, because it's got atmosphere, and we're not going to lay just yet because we need that craft. I'm still waiting for someone. Hint, hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. Oh, we wanted to go and land on Duna, or you wanted a Warhammer style landing. So here we are. As I read a comment here from Addison Unsworth, it's okay, you've got my name. It's anything destructive happens, drop me off first. And oh dear. Uh, well, luckily, Addison, you weren't on this, but Aquian was, and, uh, yeah, I cheated a bit by here. I knew there wasn't an easy way for you to do a Warhammer's type, type landing. I tried to do a reverse thrust or something, but I decided I'll hyperate you on the floor while trying to get that down. So, yeah, sorry, I did cheat. But you've got a long walk ahead of you, so you better get on your way. Anyway, as I was saying from Addison, Answorth, it's okay that you've got my name. If anything destructive happens, drop me off first. I'm an American, and my name is pronounced like Addison. Yes, no problem. I did read your name in the last episode. I went back, stopped the video, went back, looked at your name. I thought, okay, that's his name. Go back. Oh shit, I forgot his name. <laughs> yes, it happens to me all the time. Anyway, here comes the surprise craft. Let's first, though, get that space station orientated correctly. Make it look like a proper space station. As we read out another comment from Tardigrade Gaming. I am not going to be the only one that uses Dutch names for my spacecraft. And how about a special private spacecraft for the king of the Kerbal, of Kerbal Quest, or Peter? <laughs> and another use, an useless fact. I went to the man and back. I also built a space station in one single day. Not very special for some players, but this is the first time in my life that I've done so much progress. I don't know how much. I don't know how, but there was a car accident right out in front of my door. That happened to me once as well. And I could hear people screaming. Maybe that energized me to, in a very eerie way. I think it would actually, you know. If something like that happened, you'd want to escape. And what better way to escape than to another planet, another universe. And yes, another planet are we going to? With uh, this aircraft. Someone, who is it now? Uh, we'll get the name in a moment. What's your name? Yes, Tam. You said about flying around Duna. And I thought... Why not try my first at a aircraft on Duna? So that's what I'm gonna do. And hopefully you everything will be fine after re-entry. Anyway, I built this in the I have to admit, I built this and I wasn't sure if it's gonna fly. I did not test fly this. So you're gonna be the one test flying it on Duna itself. Let's read out a comment as you're coming down. From Kurt Backer. Or Baker, Backer. Hey Orbiter, I have a new craft. It's a Dura Lander with a rover on top. I use it to rescue Kerbals from the surface neck from the surface next video. I want to give it to you also. I was so happy to see it that this video came out. Thanks for trying my craft. Yeehaw! No problem. Don't worry, I'll be using your craft for lathe sometime in the future. And I I don't did I download your other craft? No, I couldn't find it. That's right. I couldn't find it. So what I'll be doing when it's uploaded next episode, perhaps I'll use it. I don't know yet. But first off, before I can use anybody else's craft, let's get Tam to land this thing. Okay, it got a bit fast. So I'm going to do some air braking. Slow ourselves down. I'm not sure what the proper landing speed for landing on Tuna should be. It's something I have to figure out, I suppose. But anyway, whoa, no, we're coming down too fast. Ah, who? Quick, EVA, EVA. We know this trick. This trick always. Oops. 
I think Tam is dead. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, the only wheel is left of the craft. Uh, Tam, if you want to be revived, let me know in the comments. And I'll revive you for a new mission. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, we can't hang around because we've got a couple of things to do. First off, the Forgotten Space Station. I all f completely forgot about this space station. I sent it on its way to Paul. And, yeah, who have we got? Jaco92279, who wanted to be on a space station around a Kerbal Moon. So here you are. And let's get the other commissions on its way as well. As we read another comment from Aquan Eldar. Nice video as always. Always looking forward to the next. And always hoping that it soon will be me on that dropship in the new episode. Oops. <laughs> but for now, some feedback. Love the dancing in the very beginning of the episode. Could we get a little dance per planet or moon? Or at least I liked that as two seconds start of the episode. Just a thought. Keep up the great work. Yeah, we done a little jig on the first episode. I thought I couldn't get the Kerbal to orient correctly, even though it's walking mode. So I had to do something about that. And uh, I found out that if you press the Alt key while the Kerbal's on EVA, he'll, uh, when he's walking, he'll revert to proper walking, which is a surprise to me. Anyway, from next comment from Naruto. Uzumia, Uzumaki. Sounds like a Japanese name, actually. Can you name a Kerbal Kenks and put it on a space station? No problem. Kerbal. I think I added a Kerbal already. I've added a load of Kerbals. A lot have to be yet to go on missions, especially to Lathe. Another comment from Josh Tab 2002 Like in the Voyager missions, what would you send up on a satellite as possibly the first contact to alien life? Good question and hard to answer. I suppose in reality what I really would do is mathematics. Some way to communicate to aliens with mathematics because that is, you know, as I say, a universal language. It uh, makes sense sort of thing. But then does it? It makes sense to us. That is hard to do. I personally would like to put episodes of Star Trek on there. <laughs> but then, you know, they might think that's real and that we've got warp drives and they'll ask us for their technology. I don't know, to tell you the truth, because we don't know what aliens are like. And I think the video just blacked out for a second then. Anyway, from Connor Crowley. I am a great mi musician, thank you very much. Yes, we'll believe it when you play that guitar properly. <laughs> from John Wayne, John Wayne Tingley. Could you make a tutorial on how to set up your recording process? Also, what program do you use to capture? I use Marillis Action for recording and then Sony Vegas for editing. Uh, the other things I use is Kerbal Space Program to play and uh, Audacity is also a helpful tool for audio. As we get, as we are now getting Susan Dixon down on landing. Yes, you wanted to come to Paul to search for the cracking, but first off, you have to do a mission first. You have to mine some ore, and um, I have to land a processing plant, I think, because we haven't got anything to process the ore at the moment, because you'd just be lugging heavy weight around otherwise. And then we'll send you on that mission to look for the kraken. Another comment from Master Assassin. Can you add me as a Kerbal and send me to Elu when you get there? I could do. So I think someone else asked to go to Elu. There's two Kerbals for Elu now. From Mike Shaw. This game is beginning to take over my life. Arr. But I'm absolutely loving it. Love the series and I'm using a lot of your designs on my missions. Oh dear. I hope. I wish your Kerbals well. <laughs> Especially like the rope you made for Dura. Keep her up, dude. No problem. Thank you for the compliments. Anyway, from Starfleet 2360. Yes, I haven't forgotten. You want to be a mission director or something for the dual missions? I'll have to get you to the dual space station at some point. 
or are you on a mission? I have to look up. I can't remember these things off my head, off the top of my head. You made someone eat a taco in a spacesuit. Now you'll be providing his own propulsion without EVA fuel. Haha, -ha, yes. That, don't you know? That is what Kerbal Space Program is fueled on. That liquid fuel isn't just... Uh, it's not named because of that reason, because that's where they get the fuel from. It's compressed ker Kerbal gas. <laughs> Anyway, from Zenra 66. You must have loads of curlballs at your disposal now. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, he put the ha ha in there. I wish to. I wish Doc Kersby had electronic electric propellers. I really would like to make a Duna plane for you, as rovers are really slow. Yes, they are, and I found out myself when I got that rover going all the way there to the rover miner. And Susan landed. Awesome. So now you can mine some ore. And you can go over and get to the other... To the um, base to borrow some tea bags. Because you want some tea, don't you? <laughs> don't ask me why. I was looking for parts because... Um, yeah, the energy was running out quickly on the miner. And I wanted to get one of the nuclear generators... But I found out there's no tools on this base. Oops, another oversight. Anyway, from Joseph M. You have joined the trend. You started. You've joined the trend you have started, I think. Awesome. Next on the list, read your own comments on your own vids. Yes, I still forgot to add a comment on here. Other than answering comments. From the Sliling Blobfish. I would love to see you play Hexagon. If you do, good luck. I know there are a lot of Kerbal requests, but if you if you add me, you could put me on Elo or take me to Eve. I don't know why I want to get stranded. Cheers. Also, now do I send you craft? How do I send you crafts? Sorry, I'm misreading some of these comments. I think these days. Uh, Kerbal X. If you go on Kerbal X, join, create an account, give me a link to a new craft, so then I can follow you, so every time you add a craft, I'll see it on the Kerbal X site. Anyone else who wants to do that, just let me know in the comments below that you're adding a craft, and perhaps you want me to use it, I don't know. We'll, we'll work something out on the way, because there may be too many crafts for me to use at some point. But let's get into this last comment, as I'm not talking about the video. Last comments. From Cab... Cabugula... Gothitel. <laughs> if Orbiter likes and replies to this comment, I will cannibalize my children on a live stream. Uh, I replied, um, should I like this comment as well? So I've replied to his comment, but I haven't liked it yet. So does that mean he can't cannibalize them yet? I don't know. Perhaps he's going to only half cannibalize them. Anyway, some from Syed Razim. Can you please tell me what mods did you use in this video? I nuke to KSP, to KSP, and your channel. Uh, give me a second. Okay, a quick shot of mods. Docking alignment port indicator, environmental visual enhancements, hooligan lambs, airships, Kerbal alarm clock, Kerbal attachment system, Kerbal engine redux, Kerbal inventory system, Kerbal planetary base systems, custom Kerbals, mech jump 2, minimum ambient lighting, module manager, raster prop monitor, scansat and trajectories. And that is it this for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I'm more Peter. Trust me, I'm an engineer. I'll let me know if you're going to add spacecraft to Kerbal X.